In 1772, a humble milliner started making fashion suggestions to Marie Antoinette, the Queen of France. Talented and innovative, her recommendations were followed without question. And so, Rose Batan was considered the first ever professional stylist, the original influencer, you could say. 250 years later, we are all styled every day by magazines, mannequins, and now machines. AI technology can make us recommendations, but can it make genuinely creative decisions? And can it dress us more suitably and more sustainably than we dress ourselves? Before we go further, here are some startling fashion figures. Fashion is one of the biggest industries in the world, with revenues expected to reach $2.25 trillion by 2025. This is because we buy a lot of clothes, 56 million tons a year to be exact. But we don't keep them long. The average garment lasts only about five weeks in our closets, which makes fast fashion the second most polluting industry in the world. But with global spending on AI expected to reach $7.3 billion in 2022, artificial intelligence might provide the answer. Style, taste, self-expression, all very human concepts. There's no way a machine can have a fashion sense, right? But what if it could predict or even start trends? Or should AI be used in a more socially and environmentally conscious way? To find out, we spoke to some people on the cutting edge. The fashion industry needs to change. Uh, we believe that digital transformation and the adoption of these tools within fashion can help us do that. So this is one of the pattern cutting rooms where fashion design students are working. At the FIA, we collaborate with both students and graduates uh, in order for, to build together proof of concepts and prototypes. So yeah, we're really interested in how to merge traditional practice with emerging one and how digital tools can be adopted by fashion designers. The FIA stands for Fashion Innovation Agency. What we're trying at the FIA is basically to articulate and find hybrid models which blend digital with physical practice and could lead to an industry that is much more sustainable and inclusive. The Reactive Reality Rig is basically a turntable uh, connected to these cameras and computers that um, allows us to take 360 photographs. All those photos are sent and they process it for us live, yeah. You scan your face with your phone uh, and they create an avatar with your body measurements. Using the clothes that they scan, you can try on virtually onto your avatar. It's absolutely definitely sure that at the moment, digital product is the only, is the most sustainable uh, form of product that we can produce. Uh, so definitely all of these different practices can create an industry that is much more sustainable. Uh, the incorporation of artificial intelligence as well as a, as a tool to collaborate between uh, tech and the fashion designer could create more sustainable pathways. For example, I know there are brands uh, that are using artificial intelligence as a co-design tool. So basically their vision is to create what we buy and eliminate wastage and overproduction. But also on the inclusivity perspective, I think that with the blending of the two industries, the tech and the fashion, uh, we create pathways that are much more inclusive. This is the content management system. Once you've got your 3D scan, you can use it in lots of different ways. You can put it onto an avatar, you can then place it into a virtual environment. You can then create um, completely virtual fashion imagery. The catwalk show, which is traditionally associated with a very elite event, which is open just to few people, by incorporating digital tools, it can now be distributed to any end user. So these, these kinds of pipelines basically allow more people to be part of the equation, influence the international fashion landscape. And for me, that is, that is really fascinating. Some of the materials that, for example, digital designers are working with in, in the digital space are not possible to create physically. Or you could augment your physical product with effects and animations that are not possible in the physical world. So where we are now is the Digital Learning Lab. Uh, this is a, a project that I can show you. It's called Hack. So basically this garment is designed by using silicone and it incorporates inflatable technology together uh, with uh, increasing temperature. So it's programmed basically to be able to be hacked. So uh, the wearer wears it and uh, people using an augmented reality application can hack the garment recommendation engines are going to form more and more uh, personal and intimate connections between each person and them actually. That's I think that's again a game changer and something that all brands would want to be able to address 
their audience, their consumers individually and to know more about them. So I think that individuality is going to still remain there. Uh, and it's about how we use these tools to make sure that these models that we had for so long are changing, but also we don't lose uh, the creative part and the, the aspect of people like being able to express themselves as they want. That's where it's going. It's going to be less generic and more focused on who you actually are. AI cannot replace the fashion designer from a fashion perspective. However, I believe that the very element of artificial intelligence is about randomness, like you give data to an algorithm and then you wait for a result that you don't know what it's going to look like. And this for me is the very basis of the creative process uh, as a whole. So I think that it can definitely be a tool to collaborate with. The conversation around fashion is becoming more ethical than editorial these days. And a lot of it is centered around AI. Can machines help us make better purchases, create eco-friendly clothes, save waste? I hosted a roundtable to talk about how AI can impact the fashion industry for good. AI first entered the fashion industry uh, pursuing you know, more narrow business objectives, and one of those objectives has become sustainability. You know, fashion industry does have a sustainability problem, and how can AI be used to uh, remedy that? Mm, yeah, definitely. Fashion is one of the worst industries in terms of the sustainability point and we have lots of progress to make. Uh, but I think through that digital transformation by adopting AI and other kinds of technologies, fashion can, be, can become a more sustainable and inclusive industry. I think that's so interesting, but um, a lot of my research looks at the sustainability of AI mm. and what we see is Digi the, the digital or AI being heralded as the solution to so many of our envi environmental yeah. sustainab sustainability problems. And my concern is that we can sometimes lose sight of the fact that when we're using these AI technologies, they also have a material cost, right? So j just, I suppose, the development of the AI tools to do that will draw on rare minerals that will have to be extracted from the ground somewhere and manufactured and then used and then there will be e-waste at the end. So I don't know if the fashion industry, because this is, I'm thinking about the, a lot of this in my work, has the fashion industry mm -hmm. kind of touched base with that at all? Is, yeah. Are they in the discussions? That, that's an amazing question, actually, and something that I always constantly think. So I definitely don't believe that the digital will, is going to replace the physical 100%. However, through the implementation of these kinds of techniques from AI to 3D, uh, to digital design and all of that, we can create business models that are much more sustainable. It's not the solution to just go 100% with mm. AI and digital, absolutely not. I mm. think it's about working together, collaborating and generating these ideas that could create more sustainable business model by, models by merging the two. When I think about creativity and fashion, I think about the genius alone in a dark room coming up with an amazing idea. Can AI do the same? <laughs> That's a great question. Initially, artificial intelligence was introduced in fashion as a tool to simplify quantifiable business needs like style recommendations or recommending product to consumers or also simplifying and making manufacturing processes more effective. But it's really interesting to consider the possibilities that AI has in the creative sector because creativity is something harder to kind of put in numbers. Can When you, when you use these um these sort of AI-based tools for creativity. I mean, do you think that they, they can be truly creative and create things that are really new, or are they always, because they're trained on past examples of things, um, are they always somewhat derivative of sort of everything that's been done before? They cannot replicate for sure the designer or the creative, but also in most cases, in terms of fashion designers, they would also have inspiration from different elements like nature or uh, their backgrounds, their families, their cultural heritage. So I think that providing an algorithm, for example, with these kinds of references and then allowing it to create some random uh, like afterlife of them and the designer getting inspired by that, I think that that is really close to, to the actual process of creativity. I agree. I, I, I think anyone that creates is drawing on, you know, historical background, historical cultures, everything that they know or have learnt in their own lifetimes. But then I would say, you come back to the more philosophical question, what is creativity and can you appreciate something that's been created by a machine as much as you might appreciate something, for example, created by a human? And I don't know if that is effective mm. in fashion, because I suppose in art, right? Yeah. If you have a, if, if you have this amazing picture, I know that if I go to an art gallery, 
and there's a picture and I look at it and I don't know anything about it. It doesn't have much meaning for me, but if someone comes along and explains the story about the creation of the picture, kind of it gains that me that's the meaning making that comes from the picture. So I, I could see that as something slightly different with mm. AI. And I was just wondering if that how that kind of plays out in the fashion. Yeah, no, I definitely sector. agree on that because like from, from my perspective, like working a lot with experiential uh, retail as well and experiences in fashion, like what we've been observing is the fact that fashion is not about the product, it's actually about the storytelling. I think that this is a very important element f to narrate these stories. So even if they're created with AI, I'm sure the designer would be able to to provide that storytelling behind. So yeah. a very collaborative yeah. effort between the AI and the human exactly. as opposed to anything else. And I suppose there's a creative element that's different here in that you're selecting what data you want that algorithm to use to provide that inspiration. That that data selection is then a kind of human creative process as well. Exactly. That's different than the traditional one, but but still a kind of human creative process. Yeah, and I think it maintains individuality in a way in, in, the, in the designer or creator because the vision of the designer can be represented in that way as well. Have you had like like those types of technologies previously in the fashion industry? Can you see a historical mm. trend to kind of moving towards AI or, or do you see AI as something that's quite novel and new to a fashion industry that previous yeah. to this? Industry? We've been seeing that fashion is an industry that was initially very hesitant to adopt this, uh, these kinds of tools because fashion is a lot about tangibility and I mean, I'm sure that this won't be eliminated. It will still be about tangibility and, and the physical uh, representation of it. However, it's about how we can create new models by blending it with uh, digital processes. So, an industry with huge profits and huge problems. We know that AI is making a dent in the waste and now we're saying, not so fast, fashion. But will we go further than that? As machines are used to create patterns and prints, will data replace the designer? For now at least, the vast majority of clothes and the challenges that come with them are made by humans.